I commented on a video about soursop leaves and how it actually helped with my cancer because soursop tea is known to kill cancer cells. And I had a lot of comments on that. So I just wanted to really quick go over what I did for my cancer. So in July of 2021, almost two years ago now, I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer. It was in my breasts, my lungs, my stomach, my ovaries, and my bones. And my prognosis from my doctor wasn't good. And when I asked them, how much time do I have? They said, we're not gonna talk about that right now. Let's talk about treatment first and see what we can do to help you. Um, but your scans are not the scans of someone that lives. So I knew that I didn't have a lot of time. So at that point I was like, what do I have to lose, right? So I started doing a lot of research and I found that soursop leaves, the tea from it that you make from it, actually helps with killing cancer cells. So I take, drink soursop tea every day, two cups a day, but I also change my diet. So you can't take these things and still eat all the junk food, all the sugars, all that kind of stuff. You do have to change. And that was the hardest thing for me because I love sweets, I love sugar, I love cake, I love all of that kind of stuff. And do I not eat it anymore? Of course I do. But every once in a while, um, like for Easter Sunday, of course I was gonna have a piece of Mother's Day cake on Mother's Day as well, but I don't do it every day. So you do have to be mindful of what you put in your body. Also, cancer cells cannot live in a um, alkaline body. So eat a lot of things that are alkaline, like a lot of green leafy vegetables, a lot of fruits, that kind of stuff. Um, but you, you have to advocate for your health because the doctors, they were not taught, even my doctor confessed that to me, they were not taught in school about nutrition and all of that. It's all about medicine. So it's very important that you advocate for your own health. But as of February 2023, when I did another scan, she says, I don't know what you're doing, but you have no cancer cells in your body. Um, so I was so happy to hear that. But aside from all of that, this is even more important than the things I just mentioned about what I ingest in my body. Your mind is the most important thing. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. So as hard as it is, don't focus on your cancer as hard as that is because it's there, right? But focus on life. Speak life to yourself every day. Look in the mirror and say, I am cancer free. I'm going to live a long, healthy life. Speak life. What you speak creates, right? So make sure that even though you're trying to do the best for your body, if you're constantly woe is me and why did I get cancer and all of that kind of stuff, that has a lot to do with your health as well. So speak life, eat as best as you can, take those things. Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not even in the medical field. My sister is a registered nurse. My son is a registered nurse. And they know I'm taking these things. But when I mention it to my doctor, oh, no, 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 don't take it. But I did. And because what do I have to lose, right? I had stage four. They didn't give my, me a very good prognosis. Speak life. God bless you.